Well, I am Herman Colas Jr. and uh, I'm the founder of this company. My name is Aneshka Colas Dixon. I am the CFO and Vice President here at Colas Construction. I'm Andrew Colas. I am President and CEO of Colas Construction. My name is Alex Colas. I'm the Vice President of Pre-Construction Services, so that deals with all of our project pursuits, estimating, and project handoff. So my name is Mark Daniel Domo. I'm the Vice President of Operations. I started the company in 1997. I was building my, quote, dream house. And then I decided to, with all that I was doing, to build my own house. And then I thought, well, if I decide to do something different, I'll make sure that people can build a house and not have to go to the trouble that I went. That was uh, the basis for me starting this company. So I was born into the business. Uh, my father started this company and since I was a little kid, I've been following him around. Uh, it's a business that I love and always wanted to be a part of. As uh, we struggled together to move and change the direction of the company, I figured, well, this is a good time to have the kids start taking charge. I just always loved working around my father because he has such great energy and he came from a family business. So I feel like he involved us even at a really young age. He kind of, I think, planted little seeds without without us knowing. So naturally, when he then started this construction company, for me, it was, it made sense because I kind of always watched and been around him. I chose the business because I felt that in the world of construction, you have such an interesting opportunity to have an impact on your surroundings and to engage with folks in your community at all different capacities. You know. It's really funny because we're exactly where our, our father predicted we should be. My father, originally when he started the company, he already wanted to be, you know, the largest general contractor in town. He pretty much forced that kind of a growth on us from early on. Every opportunity that we have to grow, it's, it's, it's almost like my dad's voice in the back of my mind saying, you could be in every single state in this in this country like there's nothing that should stop you people that have been with us you know, 5 10 15 years then they see us where we said we were going to be 10 years ago and they're like oh man you put this in place to get here because if what you plant today will eventually grow it's it's almost part of what i think drives all of us each and every day is that mission to grow because there are times when People maybe don't want you to grow as much as you know that you have the capacity to do. And it's really important for us to, to ensure that we live up to that legacy that our dad really did instill in us early on. It's been exciting to see the milestones reached as far as the size of the company that we are today. It, it's really exciting because for us, it just means that we're able to support more families and uh, let them be a part of this incredible legacy that, that my father started off on over 25 years ago. They've done a very, very good job. I'm very pleased with uh, what they've been doing. So when I come, I do not come here to see the books or to look at this. You know, I, I, I think uh, the company for me has become more like a place that I come to enjoy seeing the kids and all the beautiful people like Alia that have joined the company, you know, and uh, that's what gives me joy. It's such an honor to, to get the Business Renewal Award, uh, mainly because of the iconic companies that have received this award in the past. A lot of those companies I look to uh, as just iconic brands in the Pacific Northwest, uh, family businesses that give back to communities, Receiving this award is very impactful for us as a firm because obviously we invest in this every day and I think that getting that recognition is kind of a testament to the work that we do 
every day in this industry and it's always very, very gratifying to be rewarded for those efforts. If I could be sitting uh, in this chair 50 years from now, uh, I just hope that we're, we're a company that everybody knows as being a company that has always uh, lived up to their values, exceeded the expectations, and been a company that does good work.